तो दिस इज ए यंग मैन हु इज अ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट बाय प्रोफेशन टुडे ही इज 27 इयर्स एज ओके एंड ही केम टू अस इन डिसेंबर 2022 एंड बिफोर दैट ही विल टेल यू द सिम्टम्स सो एवरीथिंग ऑल द कंप्लेंट्स स्टार्टेड इन 2019 बराबर so what were the complaints what actually happened in 2019 so 2019 he was doing uh, his uh, ca finals hai na so he was in that constant stress both mentally as well as uh, physically because of ca final ka preparation so what happened at that time so, uh, i should be working a one private hospital okay so they uh, over working and we used to do that work sir uh -huh. so like, and before that i used to do the articles under case one ca uh -huh. so they were, i used to do for a long time over time uh, throughout the day even at the night i used to do, stay at the place and do some work uh -huh. uh, doing work so i used to be totally stressed very much so the so what symptom wise kya hua what happened actually why did you go to doctor first of all In 2019, I am not seeing any uh, symptoms, sir. But there is one BP problem. How did you know that you had got blood pressure? Uh, fainting. I used to faint, sir. Okay. So you used to keep on fainting. So recurrent fainting or fainting like symptoms, and for that he went to the doctor, uh, who diagnosed him to have high blood pressure. So BP was very high. So they gave you the medicines. They gave him the medicines. Okay, then what happened? The BP got to normal, sir. But after a few days, again my one chest pain has been there. Okay, so after a few days, he developed chest pain, and then he was completely investigated. And in that investigation, uh, an angiography was also done. Right? So they said that there are some blockages. Then what happened then? But they did not do any angioplasty or any other procedure for the run. They gave me medicines. They gave me medicines. One month, two months. After that, I neglected the. Uh, okay, so 2019 passed, 2020 passed, 2021 also passed. So he was better. In 2021, February, I got the yes, uh, 22. Okay, for 2021, not 22. 22 sir. 2022 in February he got COVID and he got some symptoms, but then they became all right. Were you supposed to, were you admitted in the in that uh, time? No, he was not admitted of COVID also. Then uh, August 2022, what happened? August 2022, I am unable to sleep at the night, sir. So uh -huh. due to some breathing problem, whenever I go to sleep, I can't able to breathe uh, properly. Okay. So it's after two or three days, I went to a hospital. So I said to myself, sir, I can't able to eat at the lunch or dinner even for one or two pieces of. Uh, Okay. Then even at the night, sir, I am unable to sleep. Yet. So they given some medication that so go for a checkup. So they did given some go for the yes. Medication. So all the investigations were done, and at that time, two important things came out. One was his MRI uh, of the chest, as well as echocardiogram was done, and there was very severe dilated heart with the pumping capacity was only thirty one percent. And there was moderate to severe global hypokinesia. Global hypokinesia means the walls of the heart are working very, very less. In addition, his creatinine value was 1.5 initially, which is basically high, and it jumped down to 1.9 milligram per deciliter. So this was somewhere in August or September 2022. Okay. And then in December he came to us. We took his entire history. We asked him to change his lifestyle. And uh, this is June 2023, so roughly a span period of six months. So now can you sleep properly? Yes. You can sleep properly. Very well. No symptoms, no breathlessness, nothing. Yeah. So today we did this uh, echocardiogram, and the pumping capacity has come to 40 percent. Not only that, but the hypokinesia that also has decreased. Plus all his results. His kidney function test has come back to 1.3, which is near normal, and uh, cholesterol levels, liver profile, every all of the profiles are normal. Not only that, his ECG is also normal. So both symptom-wise as well as 
uh, investigation wise is normal he was given his uh, initially when he had come he was given homeopathic drugs on symptomatic basis then somewhere in between february and march i gave him uh, uh, his constitutional prescription one dose and he is now continuing only with anti failure drug one anti failure drug in homeopathy jiske wajah se now this is the result 40% again is also little less so i want him to increase 50% but symptom wise he is perfectly free thank you